Okay, so finally I was able to find another practical application of AI. So what you see here is uh, one of the feature pages of uh, KDN Live. This is an open source video editor. And so uh, like most uh, uh, video editors, it supports multiple tracks. And one of these tracks can be the subtitles. So here in this picture, you can see the tracks and you can edit and add the subtitles directly in the video editor. So recently, the KDN Live team added a speech recognition to the subtitle track, uh, which uses uh, AI. So now I'll show you if I run um, KDN Live, which here is installed as a flat pack. So you can run it like this. .kde. So this is a uh, KDN Live, and uh, in the subtitles you can. Okay, if you go to project, so this is an empty project now, but I'll just show you uh, subtitles, speech recognition. So you click here. Uh, there are various models, but uh, I usually use a large one. You uh, can also put translate um, to English. Now, if you um, click on process, it's written here, please configure speech to text. So you click on configure and there are um, two options here. So whisper and Vosk. So for the moment, I only tried uh, the whisper uh, engine. As you see here, it's written speech to text. Uh, so all you have to do is to install this um, Python module. So it's called OpenAI Whisper. So since this is um, installed in Flatpak, you can't just do pip install uh, OpenAI Whisper, but you have to um, open a shell in the Flatpak environment. By the way, uh, if you are interested, there's a Whisper um, repository in GitHub, which is here. So op uh, github.com OpenAI Whisper. And you can have a look at the read me and all the stuff. So, so now we'll open a shell um, in the um, Flatpak environment for this app. So you just need to close everything for the moment. So the command is this one, Flatpak run, command uh, bin bash, and then still the um, KDN live uh, Flatpak. So here you'll see an error, but this is because of the Spectrum environment, but this is uh, usually shouldn't happen, so the, everything works nonetheless. Okay, so I forgot to add the, uh, a couple of environment variables which are required for this to work. So you add, the, this is the correct command, so it's the same as before, so command uh, bin bash and then the flatpak app. But you have to define uh, two environment variables, so the Python user base and variable, and the um, Python path, like this. So uh, they are the same in this case. When you run, okay, like this. At the moment, we are inside the flatback environment. So now you have to run. You have to install pip. So Python minus um, your pip. And then we install uh, the um, OpenAI Whisper package like this, like a normal Python package. So Python pip install. Uh, this option is required for recent um, pip uh, uh, versions. OpenAI Whisper like this. So this will take uh, a while because there are lots of dependencies. Okay, so pip has finished installing all the packages. It took less than uh, expected because um, it used the cached packages. So now you just type in exit. Then you can run um, the same command, but you just need to remove this option, the um, command option. So we'll run uh, KDN live, but you have to keep the two environment variables. Uh, so. As an alternative, you can run the software called Flatseal, 
which can handle lots of options, including the environment variables. So here, for example, I set the Python user base variable and the Python path variable. And as you can see here, there's a warning sign, which means that uh, these variables have been changed by the user. I'll just show you what's inside the, this path. Okay, so we see the whisper binary here and all the stuff. Python 3.10, not us, Luke. Five packages. Yeah, so you see there are lots of dependencies for this um, OpenAI Whisper packet to work. This one, anyway. Let's run uh, KDN Live without the bash without bash so directly and now let's try the subtitle um generate the subtitle generation we tried earlier so all tracks large english yeah so now you can, um the arrow disappeared and of course here we don't have any videos to uh, try so now we can uh, open um, an existing video. So we'll add um, one of my earlier videos and see what happens with, uh, with this, the speech recognition. Okay, so let's see if I import the video to the first track like this. Okay, so then I see it's about three minutes, 26 seconds. So this is the audio track here below, as you see. Okay, so you need to select the audio track like this by clicking on it. Then you go to um, Project, Subtitles, Speech Recognition. Then select a track like this. Let's see how much time it takes. It might take um, a lot of time, especially if you use the CPU like I do. It, you know, sometimes it doesn't work straight away. Maybe it's the wrong selection. So I'll try with the selected clip now. Okay, so it turns out I was wrong. Uh, I made a mistake while configuring KDE in live. In fact, I got an error similar to this one. So the reason, the reason is if you go to settings, configure KDE in live, speech to text it was this was marked um, like this it was marked with disabled half precision fp16 so you have to uncheck this and then um, see i only have the cpu as device so large english okay so you put okay and then you go on um as we tried before so uh, projects subtitles speech recognition so you can put uh, all tracks or select a track, whatever. Process. So now everything should work fine. Okay, so there was another mistake, I think. Because um, only the first sentence was translated. I don't know the reason, but now I tried this option. So select a clip. Okay, so the operation is very CPU intensive. So I can't even uh, record the screen and the audio without problems. I'm going to try it again and um, see the difference here. If you if you put selected clip, you'll get uh, lots of more. I think these are samples. I don't know. Lots of more samples than um, the other cases. So 34,000 instead of 253. The CPU usage was spiking. All the cores were at 100%, even the RAM was uh, quite full. So now I'm going to pause the video, do the rendering here, the speech recognition, and then see the results. Okay, so it's finished after about 10 minutes. And uh, as you can see here, there are some subtitles. Yeah, so now we can close the window and see. Okay, yeah, as you can see, there is a mistake here, but you can correct it. You just click here. You write, okay, like this. Yeah, and as you can see, it's um, 
this this speech recognition can also understand the context so here c is in capital letter as you would expect a and z are in capital letters which is uh, correct the gnu linux uh, word is not uh, correct but it's mostly correct and also the command here is um, all one word so i can correct it like this this one is wrong but Okay, so GNU Linux, there's a slash in between. On this new video of Soul Computer Science, we see a programming exercise about strings using the C programming language. I see even the timings here are correct. Sometimes uh, they are not and there are some uh, uh, words repeated. Most of the time they are correct, so that's good. So after you correct all the subtitles, for example, you can adjust the timings like this, and I, I showed you the text. Uh, you just need to render the... Um, you have two possibilities. You can render the um, video with the subtitles burned in, or you can hide the subtitles like this. So you click on hide and see they, um, they're hidden now, so they won't be rendered in the output. But you can also export the subtitles as uh, SRT files. Uh, so to export the subtitles, you just need to go on project, subtitles, export subtitle file. Okay, so what you get after exporting is a normal SRT file with the timings uh, all correct and everything. And of course, when you upload it to YouTube, for example, uh, you can say um, to upload the subtitles file with timings, so you don't have to edit uh, nothing on YouTube. You can all do it in uh, KDN Live, and so that's very convenient, I think, that you can do everything offline, and uh, so that's it. So if you found this useful, uh, put a like, and uh, remember to subscribe, and as always, bye-bye.